Have you ever pondered the mystery of the human mind and how it can lead to the most unexpected actions? This question forms the crux of our exploration today as we delve into the enigmatic world of The Silent Patient by Alex Michaelides. This psychological thriller takes us on a riveting journey through the mind of Alicia Berenson, a renowned artist accused of murdering her husband in cold blood. But here's where the plot thickens. Alicia chooses not to utter a single word after the crime, turning her silence into a cryptic maze that we, alongside criminal psychotherapist Theo Faber, must navigate. As we venture deeper into this labyrinth, each twist and turn challenges our perceptions, compelling us to question the boundaries of sanity and guilt. The human mind, as portrayed in this novel, is a riddle wrapped in a mystery, an intricate puzzle waiting to be solved. Today, we dive into the intricate labyrinth of The Silent Patient. Alicia Berenson, a celebrated painter, is charged with a heinous crime and then falls into a mysterious silence. This sentence alone sets the stage for a captivating mystery. Alicia, known for her vibrant expression of emotions through her art, is accused of an unthinkable act, the murder of her husband. However, rather than proclaim her innocence or guilt, she slips into an impenetrable silence. This silence, a stark contrast to her expressive paintings, becomes the central mystery of the novel, The Silent Patient. In the absence of her voice, her silence speaks volumes. It's as if Alicia has locked away the truth behind her husband's murder and thrown away the key. The public, the media, the police, everyone is left grappling with unanswered questions. What could have driven Alicia to such an extreme act? And why does she choose silence over defending herself? The answers to these questions are trapped within Alicia, hidden behind the veil of her silence. Her silence isn't just a refusal to speak, it's a barrier, a fortress that shields her from the outside world. It's a mystery that goes beyond the crime itself, becoming a symbol of her inner world, a world that we as readers are desperate to understand. Each page of the novel turns us into detectives, navigating the labyrinth of her silence, seeking clues, and trying to piece together the puzzle that is Alicia Berenson. As the story unfolds, Alicia's silence transforms from being a mere characteristic into a living, breathing entity. It's a silent scream echoing through the halls of her confinement, a silent plea for understanding, a silent testament to her torment. It's a haunting melody that forms the backbone of this psychological thriller, a melody that resonates with the unsettling beauty of the unsaid and the unexpressed. Thus, Alicia's silence is not just a reaction to her circumstances, it's a character in itself, as compelling and complex as Alicia. It's a riddle wrapped in an enigma, a paradox that challenges our comprehension. It's a puzzle that we as readers must solve. It's a silent crime that reverberates through the pages of the book, keeping us hooked until the very end. Alicia's silence is a puzzle that we must solve. Enter Theo Faber, a criminal psychotherapist determined to break Alicia's silence. Theo's character is a beacon of persistence in this labyrinth of mystery. He's driven not just by professional curiosity, but also by a personal connection. Having followed Alicia's case from the sidelines, he's captivated by her silence and the enigma that surrounds her. Theo's mission is to delve into the depths of Alicia's psyche, to peel back the layers of her silence. His investigation isn't just about solving a crime, it's about understanding the human mind, its complexities and contradictions. His journey takes us on a roller coaster ride, where each revelation is a step closer to the truth and yet another twist in the tale. As Theo navigates the intricacies of Alicia's mind, we gain insights into his character as well. He's methodical, meticulous, often driven to the brink of obsession, but he's also empathetic, understanding that Alicia's silence is not just a barrier, but perhaps a plea for help. His determination to unravel Alicia's story is not just about the thrill of the chase, but a testament to his belief in the transformative power of understanding. Theo's investigation methodically unravels Alicia's past, revealing fragments of a troubled life that led up to the fateful night. Each revelation adds a new dimension to the narrative, deepening our understanding of Alicia and challenging our assumptions about her guilt. But every answer Theo uncovers only leads to more questions, making the investigation a psychological chess game. Theo's pursuit of truth is not linear. As he delves into Alicia's past, he also grapples with his own demons, his own past. His journey becomes a mirror reflecting Alicia's, blurring the lines between therapist and patient, observer and participant. 
This adds a layer of complexity to the narrative, making Theo's investigation not just a quest for truth, but a journey of self-discovery. In the end, Theo's investigation is not just about solving a crime, it's about understanding the human mind. His quest for truth is a testament to the power of empathy, the necessity of understanding and the transformative potential of truth. Theo's search for truth is a psychological chess game. The structure of The Silent Patient is a marvel, weaving two timelines together. The narrative is built on a dual timeline structure, a literary device that is as intriguing as it is suspenseful. One timeline follows Theo's present-day investigation, a quest to break through Alicia's silence and decipher the motivations behind her shocking act. Each interview, each piece of evidence, each revelation, it's like a breadcrumb leading us deeper into the labyrinth of Alicia's mind. The other timeline, revealed through Alicia's diary entries, takes us back in time, offering an intimate glimpse into her life leading up to the fateful night. Here, we see Alicia not as a silent patient, but as a woman grappling with her thoughts, fears, and emotions. It's like peering through a window into her soul. These two timelines, while separate, are intricately intertwined. They dance around each other, each offering pieces of the puzzle, each propelling the story forward. This structure is not just a storytelling technique, it's a psychological tool. It mirrors the complexity of the human mind, the way our past experiences and present circumstances interplay to shape our perception of reality. As we navigate this dual timeline, we're constantly forced to question our assumptions. What is sanity? What is guilt? Is Alicia a cold-blooded murderer or a victim of circumstances beyond her control? The narrative doesn't just present us with a mystery to solve, it challenges us to reconsider our understanding of these concepts. This constant questioning, this sense of uncertainty, it's what fuels the suspense. It's the engine that drives the narrative, keeping us on the edge of our seats, eager to turn the page, to uncover the truth hidden within Alicia's silence. So the dual timeline isn't just a structure, it's a narrative journey. It's a winding path that leads us through the maze of Alicia's mind, a path filled with twists and turns, shadows and secrets. And as we traverse this path, we're not just observers, we're participants, actively piecing together the fragments of this psychological puzzle. The dual timeline is a tension-filled journey that keeps us guessing. It's a testament to Alex Michaelides' masterful storytelling, a narrative structure that makes The Silent Patient a psychological thriller unlike any other. The novel prompts us to question the nature of truth and our own biases. In The Silent Patient, Alex Michaelides delves into the mysterious landscape of the human psyche, unearthing themes of trauma, the therapeutic relationship, and the dichotomy of perception versus reality. Trauma is a recurring theme that lurks in the shadows of the narrative. It's a specter that haunts Alicia, shaping her silence and painting her world with strokes of fear and despair. Alicia's trauma isn't just a plot device, it's a window into the impact of traumatic events on our psyche. It reminds us that the scars of the past can echo in the present, influencing our actions and choices in ways we may not fully comprehend. The therapeutic relationship between Theo and Alicia is another intriguing theme. It explores the delicate balance between empathy and professionalism, trust and skepticism. As Theo navigates this delicate dance, we're reminded of the complexities inherent in therapeutic interactions. The therapist-patient relationship isn't just about healing, it's a journey fraught with ethical dilemmas, power dynamics, and the constant tension between objective analysis and emotional involvement. Perception versus reality is a theme that underpins the entire narrative. Through Alicia's silence and the enigma of her crime, we're forced to confront the subjective nature of truth. We see how our perceptions, colored by our biases and preconceptions, can distort reality. The novel provokes us to question the reliability of our judgments and the accuracy of our interpretations, challenging our understanding of the world. These psychological themes aren't merely narrative elements. They're thought-provoking prompts that invite us to delve deeper into our psyche. They stir introspection, push us to question our assumptions, and urge us to reflect on our understanding of the human mind. The Silent Patient isn't just a tale of a crime and its investigation. It's a psychological exploration that challenges our assumptions about identity, guilt, and the power of silence. It's a narrative that dares us to look beyond the surface, to question, to reflect, and to understand the complex tapestry of the human psyche. The Silent Patient has captivated readers worldwide, but what makes it stand out in its genre? 
It's a question that begs for a deep dive into the essence of this mesmerizing narrative. The novel has made waves in the realm of psychological thrillers, not just for its intricate plot or its compelling characters, but for its ability to provoke introspection. Its unique blend of suspense, psychological exploration, and narrative dynamism has placed it on a pedestal of its own. The Silent Patient isn't just a story, it's an experience that immerses readers in a labyrinth of the mind, pushing them to question their understanding of sanity, guilt, and truth. This novel has resonated deeply with readers, breaking the confines of a typical thriller and offering a profound exploration of the human psyche. Its power lies in its capacity to engage, to disturb, and most importantly, to make us reflect. As we unravel the mysteries of The Silent Patient, we're not only entertained but also challenged to question our perceptions and biases. This is the power of a truly gripping psychological thriller.